Three new social classes have emerged in America, shaping its political, economic, and cultural future. The affluent Jewish class, the crushed Gentile middle class, and the ill-omened college grad class. Topping this three-tiered stratum is the affluent Jewish class, whose iconic omnipresence pummels us into compliance with their overarching agenda. Bloomberg, Feinstein, Schumer with their gun control agenda. Bernanke, Yellen, Blankfein with their transfer of wealth agenda. Foxman, Shapiro, Wiesel with their homosexual, anti-Christian, and worship of the Jewish dead agenda. Second down the ladder in our newly emerged social stratum is the crushed Gentile middle class, which once enjoyed prosperity in our former industrialized society. But ever since Jewish Wall Street started sending white and blue collar jobs to China and India, the Gentiles have been pulverized into near poverty conditions. James Wolfenson, Jewish former head of the World Bank, makes no apologies for helping to bring this to pass. By 2030, the estimate now is that there will be 3 billion people in the middle class. And of that 3 billion, two-thirds of it will be in Asia. That's right. Those who once enjoyed high-paying middle-class jobs as IT pros, R&D specialists, engineers and factory personnel have been replaced by cheap Chinese and Indian labor. And at the bottom of the ladder is the ill-omen college grad class. From the time an American child reaches the sixth grade, they're taught that if they get into a great college and get their college degree, any type of job they desire in the field of their choice will be there waiting for them. After getting their dream job, they will be able to buy any car and house they desire, start their own family, and live the American dream. Nothing's waiting for them. There's no jobs. PhDs are on food stamps and engineers are working as janitors. How about an MBA? You're working as a bank teller, or if you're lucky, as a bartender with just enough tips to get you by. You're living with 12 other grads in a five-room house or back home with your parents. Marriage and children? Forget it. You're already 70000 in student loan debt with no way out. The future is with the affluent Jewish class. They rule. They prosper. They shape events. It's a Jewish age, proclaimed historian Yuri Sleskind in his acclaim, the Jewish century. If you're a Gentile, good luck. Maybe you'll get a job with Goldman Sachs. But don't count on it unless your name begins with Chang or Sharik. Your century passed you by a long time ago when the church was strong and the synagogue was weak. Unless the church becomes strong again, you don't have a chance. Will we have a Christian America or a Jewish America? That's up to you.